Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to Formula 1 Manager 2022. We are Williams, we are 9th at, at the moment. And uh, we are still fighting to get 8th or 7th. And we are going to the Marina Bay Street Circuit in Singapore. We did everything we need to do in the last episode, including new research. Let's go to the race weekend. Now there can be some rain over here. That happened a lot of times. So I'm very curious if it's going to get rainy. And there is no rain. Boring. Very, very boring. We're gonna let Boucher run. We are going to go 20 laps on the soft tire with both drivers. We are using our old parts for the training. And what is the car setup here? I think you need a lot of wing. Uh, the traction needs to go this way. Just something like this. And the same for you. A bit more wing. Do something like this. And then we will just do the rest later. Alright, I will come back to you guys when we have our first knowledge. Alrighty, both drivers are done with their first stint and we have a terrible setup. 41%. We have the optimal traction, but the rest is horrible. Maybe we just need to put everything to almost 100%. Let's do this so we are really far from where we were. And the braking stability... Let's do this. Oh wait, the traction is now not good anymore. That's not gonna work. This is gonna work. Uh, let's do this. We are actually on the limit here. Uh, maybe do this one. So this could be the, the dif distance grade. Optimal is almost the same still. Like this. And this is all completely changed. Let's try this and go to the mediums. Your setup is horrible. Well, apparently we need to go this way with the wing then. This is, so, this is really weird. Try this for the wings then. Um, and the traction is wrong. Now everything has changed, let's just see what happens. This is not easy. Alright, I will be back after this stint. And we are in the first practice and we have PS3 with 100% and Pusher with 94%. So let's call Pusher in, maybe we can get a, a better setup here. Um, he doesn't need more track experience. So do we have enough time to change it? Maybe. Okay, we have a lot of great things and some are optimal. The braking stability needs to go a bit to the left, so I think we can do that with this. And then the cornering should go back to optimal. Oh. Hmm. Use this a bit then. Like this. And this is changing a little bit. And this also changing a little bit. Maybe it's a bit better. We don't know. Um, there's almost no, no um, tire wear on this track. So that is 
really interesting. Uh, so we can just let uh, Piastri uh, run till the end of the race. He needs his track acc acclimatization and then he will have 100, 100, 100. And Boucher cannot get more than 500 points because he is a uh, reserve driver. Uh, but I can send him out and then Albon can continue the feedback. Takes a little bit less time. There go. Then we go to practice two. Elbon is in the car. We are going to do 20 laps on this. I don't think we can even do 20 laps, but let's put it in anyway. Still using the old parts. We have 100% setup here and you have to test it. And then I will be back after Elbon is done with his test. And there we are with Elbon setup, 97%. So we have 197. I'm going to get their track knowledge up and then I will see you for the qualifying. And when I said that this happened, That's the contact there. Oh, there's <laughs> chaos on the track. The car of Albon is retired. He cannot continue. Always when we are lucky with setups or something, this happens. And I know I'm I'm pushing my car, but uh, it's the only thing we can do. Pushing the car. And then try to get points. Yeah, so <laughs> This is just horrible. I will see you for the qualifying, guys. Okay, that's a new record. We have uh, 15 out of 15 points after two practices. Of course not for Elbon. So Piastri does not need to drive anymore. Hello. In the third practice. Um, but Elbon needs to. He's going to use two uh, soft stints, I think, on the hardest aggressive stance. Um, we had to replace our front wing, I think, or our chassis as well. Okay. Um, you're not going to go out anymore, PS3, you are done. Maybe you should get to uh, 100, right? Let's get uh, him to 100, just because we can. And then I will see you after the practice tree. That was the end of the practice session. A lot of warnings and stuff happened. Grid penalties are going to happen. Oh my god, so many people are changing something. So we should not change something, because we can get points now. So we have a triple 100, and we have 69. Nice. 197 with 14 out of 15 points. And then we are going to qualification. And Albon got a penalty. Um, he gets plus 5 grid penalty. So this is actually the moment for Albon to uh, use some new parts, I think. Because qualification is not going to do a lot for him. So let's have a look at the car parts. Uh, we don't need a new engine. I think we can use this engine until the end of the season. Uh, wait. We don't have any good ERSs for too long, so I'm going to get a new ERS for the race. And then we get even more penalties, because we are lost anyway. Uh, gearbox, I think we need a new one as well. Then we can use this one for the practice sessions and this one for the qualifications and the races until the end of the season. And there we go. And you are completely fine. Uh, I will let him do some qualification laps, because why not? Um, and what are we going to do with Piastri here? Oh, do you have enough spare engines? Not right now, but I don't think I'm going to give him penalty this race. Because there are a lot of people with penalties as well. And then we will go up in the ranking. So next race, I think Piastri needs to start at the back. Um, we are going to use this one still. And then for next race, we are using a new one. Gearbox. Let's use this one. Oh, there we go. And we are going to go to qualification. Yeah, we will get penalties, I know. Qualifying one. I'm going to do it differently this time. I will wait until someone else comes out the, uh, the pits as well. For example, there goes Russell, right? Now the AI must need, uh, needs to know when they have a clean lap, right? So let's just follow them. Let's follow Russell. Let's see if the AI is also going out when they are getting someone in their way. And the answer is... 
Maybe? I think Russell was just before Stroll. So I think you need to do this at the moment. When the AI goes out, you go in front of him. I think that is how you should do it. Uh, let's go out another time on this and another time on this tire. There we go. And then we go with the train. A lot of people starting their quick lap, so we have no one uh, in our way. Yo, that's not true. Ricciardo is ruining the whole lap for Piastri. That was pretty yikes. And then we go with the choo-choo train. New sets. Or whatever that means, because in this game it doesn't mean anything. Around, around, two, mi around uh, 2 minutes 20 we can make it. So, go and go. No, oh, L1 is 17th, PS3 is 19th position. And we are, we are also, also not, not focusing on uh, um, new parts for this season. Maybe the AI is doing that. We are putting everything on research. Welcome to race day. Let's have a look at our strategy for the race. Going to be clear. Where are we starting? Okay, PS3 starts starting at 15th position because of all the penalties. And L1 is 19th and not last, so that is really nice. We cannot add much fuel, so we cannot push the car all the time. Uh, and let's have a look. There's no rain. Can I just do a one-stop? I can when we do this. Maybe I should start on the soft tire. Yeah, let's do soft and hard. I think that's going quicker. Let's have a look. It's 143.46. Th uh, yeah, you see, the, it only it's, it's only 3 seconds quicker to go on soft and medium. That is just so stupid. But we will do this. And L1, you... Can you do something like this? I think L1 can do this. He is not uh, wearing his tires quicker down when he's on the push. So we will go from medium to soft. Yeah. There we go. And they should not interfere with each other. That's good. The car parts are still good. Especially for Albon, he's on new stuff, and at the start they need to do this. And then we'll start the race. So we need to watch out for our fuel a bit more. The drivers we can fully push the car, and let's have a look at the circuit. It's a uh, night race in Singapore. It's lights out, and away we go! Let's focus on PS3, he's on the 15th position. Nice uh, Ferris wheel. <gasps> nice PS... What? Why did you stop there? That was so stupid. It really was. It's a uh, street circuit in Singapore. But a lot of corners, of course. Also some nice uh, parts to overtake, for example over here. Going through the tunnel, then we go right, then we go right again, and left, and then we go quick left to the finish line. There we go. That is a lap on Singapore. It's a really cool circuit. I can't wait for the Formula 1 race. That is, I think, next week. But I think Max Verstappen is already champion, of course. No one can stop him. Uh, 
I just hope that he's not going to be uh, be the new Hamilton with no no one stopping him because he has the fastest car because that is super boring and everyone will not like him. So what he should do and what the, what the other team should do is build a faster car. So that Max is getting some competition. Let's hope for next season that Ferrari in, uh, and uh, Mercedes is getting closer to DRS the Red Bull. At least to Verstappen. Okay, DRS is enabled. I think we need to go back with our fuel a bit here. But let's try to stay in the DRS train first. Okay, the DRS is over here. So let's go back to balanced. And see if PS3 can stay with the DRS train. While we are not using too much fuel. Should be a DRS zone coming up soon. And there's an overtake from Williams. Here's the one. There we go. Okay, I think he can make it. Oh. Okay, there's a big there's a big crash. Someone is in the wall there. Yeah. Who is that? What the hell happened? We've had a crash. Here's Norris. the replay. Now just take a look at the McLaren. I can't see anything, gang. <laughs> they are very neutral, the marshals. They are just standing there. <laughs> They're doing nothing. <laughs> oh, come on. A dramatic play. <laughs> well, I think there's nothing else to do for us than fast forward. I think PS3 can stay in the arrest train. And we can push the tires until the pit stop, so... And the same counts for Elbon. So uh, yeah, we are going to speed 16. Keep an eye out for these numbers. We need to stay within a second. And then we are completely fine. At the moment we are doing it. And a new position just gained by Williams. Elbon is now uh, in front of Ocon. What is Ocon doing over here? Ocon is a good driver. Uh, Ocon had a, some sort of problem then, I guess. But Elbon is losing uh, terrain to Piastri. He is now 5.5 seconds behind. The downside is that we need to make a pit stop with Piastri and then he will lose the DRS train. Are there people on hard tires? Oh no, they are not. Science is in the pits. We overtook um, yeah, um, Ocon. More people in the pits already. That was so early. Now P7. We are in no one's land. Gastly in the pits again. That was a very long pit stop, so I think he had a problem. And there is a safety car. Now that is very interesting. Albon is going to finish the race on hard tires. Unfortunately, Piastri is already um, past the pit line, so he cannot pit at the moment. I can conserve, of course, everything and harvest, because there is a full safety car. Okay, this could be a great moment for Albon. Let's see if he can still make the pits. Is this call early enough? It is. And of course, the AI can pit, and I get the message too late. Of course. Of course this is happening. There's been a crash. I had no chance to pit Piastri, but the AI did. This game keeps amazing me. It really does. Now, let's see if Elwon gets stuck in the pits. No, so that is perfect. 
Nice. And he just breaks in the middle of the track, because that is how the game works. The only thing we can do is uh, continue with Piastri and then make our pit stop. And hopefully the AI needs to make a pit stop. Or I'm going to make the pit stop uh, as well. It depends how fast everyone is going. I think I'm going to make the pit stop right now. Yes. Because everyone is driving the same speed. This is some sort of a virtual safety car speed. Because no one is behind the safety car, so we don't lose any time if we make the pit right now. The AI should also make their pit stop. Hamilton is doing it. Other people are not doing it. Okay, let's see if we can get out with this train. But I think we will get behind it, because they also made their pit stop. Yes, 12th, 13th, 13th, okay. Surf and harvest. Can you make it until the end of the race? Oh, yes, you can. And Elbon, of course, as well. So we can just push the car after the safety car. Now, let's see if the safety car is actually doing it, uh, his thing. Where is it? Is it driving in front of the leader? Yes. There's the Aston Martin. So the safety car is going well this time. With the right procedure. And let's hope we can get back into the safety car train. Oh, the safety car is already ending and we are not even at the safety car. And that is happening all the time. Normally these drivers would close the gap immediately to the safety car. Immediately. Because then they have chance to overtake people. And these AI cars and my cars are just taking it slowly. This is so bullshit. Are you in the DRS? Look, there's the train. Magnussen is almost in it now. They're overtaking to the control line. PS3 is here. Okay, maybe we are lucky. We are lucky. We are just here. Okay. Let's see if we can do something at the start of the race. Is everyone... Well, there are still some people maybe going to pit, so I wonder if we can get some points. Okay, Albon is luckily also back, so uh, because everything is slow here. So that is uh, a bit of luck on our side, I guess. Look how slow we are driving here. Because no one no one can overtake. <laughs> okay, let's go to speed four. I'm gonna use um, we have to stop using our battery too so much, so go back to neutral. I'm gonna use my fuel because we have it. Joe is second, guys. We are in the Joe in the Joe train. <laughs> yep. Oh yes, we are. Verstappen is going to win this race <laughs> because because Joe is is holding everyone up. <laughs> okay, let's go back to balanced. We don't have the fuel right now, I think, to stay on the higher engine mode. Let's see what the delta will be after this lap. That is what matters. The delta after a full lap and it is at 0.7 okay, let's uh, speed up the game okay we have a little bit of spare fuel for maybe in the end maybe we can do something there 
Schumacher is off. Do we get another safety yep, car? Puppy. That's good for us, because then we gain a position. Let's have a look Let's at the crash. What right, watch this. There's Schumacher. <laughs> Clearly something went oh, very he's just continuing. <laughs> he's just continuing. So we are not going to overtake him. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think there's nothing else to do, guys. We are just going to uh, go to speed 16. Keep an eye out for the... There's another crash. There's been a crash. <gasps> no, Joe's points! Let's take another look. There we have Joe. Oh no, Joe! Look at him. He's badass, that Mar Marshall. He just stayed there. Joe's car is, is damaged. He's going into the pits for sure. But there is no safety car whatsoever, so continue. There we go. We are now 12th. 12th and 14th, and we are with the train. Let's see if we can stay with the train for a long time. Maybe we can do something at the end of this race. We are staying with the whole train. Nothing else I need to do here. Save until the last three or four laps, then we will try to do something. And maybe some people are going to make a pit stop. I don't think so. They are absolutely not going to make a pit stop. I don't believe that. Poor Joe. 19th position. He was actually second and third. <laughs> it's crazy. <gasps> Vettel? What is Vettel doing here? Well, we overtook him. Something happened in front of us. And there's an overtake from Williams. Let's have a look. Now, that was just the overtake. Yeah, we don't care about that. We are close to a point with Piastri. He is four tenths below, uh, behind the... It's another safety car. What happened? No, we're not going to pit. There's no reason to pit for us. We have... Uh, there's no tire wear, so if there was tire wear, I would go to the softs now. But there is, because the softs should be a lot quicker. Or actually the medium tire. I think that was a crash. But uh, no, there's no such thing here. And oh Take no, it now. was Joe again. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo Wait, in the same corner? Oh no, this different. Thank goodness nobody <laughs> else was involved. That was a big crash. Oh, <laughs> that looks so stupid, game. It looks so stupid. <laughs> okay, let's wait for the safety car to uh, catch the leader. There he goes. And then he needs to catch the rest of the drivers. And then we get a new chance, guys, to overtake people. <laughs> the ERS is fully charged. Exactly what I need. Safety car is ending in this lap. So just prepare for restart. Copy. We are 11th. Let's see if we can get points. I don't like it that Haas is having points. But McLaren is not having points. The safety car comes in. There goes the safety car. Can we see the safety car from the leader? No. But he's in the pits. And now Verstappen can decide when he wants to go. He's waiting very long, and now we are going. Deploy, push, attack, push, deploy. At least keep Vettel behind you, PS3. There will be no DRS for a while. Oh, PS3, no, almost did it. 
almost overtook Magnussen. And a new position. Just gained Elbon overtook Ricciardo. Well done. They are so close to points. We had another crash. What in the world? Is that Hamilton? Hamilton, no! We have a point. Safety car? We've just had a crash on the track. Here's the replay. Let's have a look. Now just watch the Mercedes here. Oh, he almost took out the Ferrari as well. And there's the badass Marshall again. Uh, I don't care what happens. I'm just standing here. Is there a safety car? There is not. So we continue. DRS enabled. Go to neutral on your battery. DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently disabled. What I should try to do with Piastri is harvest the battery and see if we can stay with the train. So that we can try to overtake people with the battery. Let's see if we can do this. Keep an eye out for this number. Piastri is not using his battery to stay with the group. And for now it is working. It really is. Maybe you can do the same. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine at the moment. We might be able to overtake the Haas cars. Ooh, he's getting too far behind. Let's deploy a bit. He's back. Harvest. This is the Vettel, the Vettel train. Okay, we have almost our, our battery full now. Then we're gonna give it some tries. McLaren, gain a position! There we go. The battery is full. Then we go to neutral. Try to stay with the group. And then we're gonna try to use it on overtake. For one or two laps. Well, maybe you should not do it here uh, at the DRS zones. Which is the next one, so let's use it here. Oh, it's so hard to overtake. It's really hard to overtake. I think the DRS zone is coming up, so let's use the overtake, I guess. And you, let's use the overtake as well. Come on, Piastri. Whoa! Did you guys see that? That was crazy. It's too hard to overtake. The car cannot stay behind the, the cars for some reason. And now it does, but there is no DRS over here. And we are out of our battery as well. And every time we are trying something it goes wrong anyway. I'm gonna give it one more try.
deploy. Because there is an opportunity soon. And there's an overtake from William. Which is over here. This is the only place where I can try this, but... We are just stuck in the train, man. We are stuck in the train. Coffee. We can just keep going. Uh, let's see if Elbon can... Uh, the 11th, there we go. Elbon is in front of Gasly. Go to neutral. Gonna let the game run. The S3 is actually very safe on the 10th position. And a new position just gained by Williams. Maybe Elbon can drive to Piastri, but he is 4.2 uh, seconds behind. Piastri is just having way too much trouble overtaking anyone. But he's so close the whole time, but he, he just can't overtake. That's a position gained for Alpha I'm gonna harvest. Wait until it's full. Then I go to neutral, and in the last two laps I put it on deploy. We'll charge neutral. And L1 as well. There's now a huge train over here. I'm gonna make it right, yes you are. We are in the Alonso train. Now you're going to neutral. And I'm going to put these on... Uh, deploy in the, when they have two more laps to, to go. Because then they can use the whole battery for two laps. And then just full attack. Maybe we can overtake some positions. Let's see, we're on lap 58. Verstappen is going to start lap 59. So when we are starting at lap 60, I'm going to deploy it. I should start doing that... You crashed. Sounds like there's been a crash. Let's take a look at the replay. Okay, so there we have the Alpine. Oh, a nasty crash there. <laughs> we don't care. Safety car? What, what is happening? Nothing. But Ocon was already behind us? Yes. There's three laps left. Three laps left. Mm hmm. So when are we going to use our battery duchy? Well, we are going to use it from this point. I'm going to deploy this thing for two laps. See if we can overtake some people. They are now 10th and 12th. Let's just make them use everything they have. We cannot do anything else than this. Piastri, come on. Piastri, Piastri, Piastri. Piastri, overtake. Deploy your battery. Overtake the car. It's an order. We will have enough battery for the whole lap. We can just use it everywhere. Come on, overtake, 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 overtake. Yes. No. Come on. You can do it. I know you can do it. I mean, it's not a nice circuit to overtake. Okay, this is our last chance, I think. Come on! No. We didn't do it. Check the DRS. And the battery is empty. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Uh, what a shame, guys. You could just not overtake them because of the Alonso DRS train. But we have a check point, and McLaren is having no points. So we cannot really complain about this race. And they are pretty happy. 
PS3 is not having 12 points, Elbon has uh, 10 points, and we are 4 points away from McLaren. Haas is now too far away. Good race, development point. Good race, no point. Good practice, development point. We get a bit more money, because we did our performance incentive. Then we are going to the emails, uh, the car report. Yeah, our top speed is horrible. We know that. Show report is fine. The board check in. We have a high confidence. I noticed that our contract Alex of Elborn will be coming to an end in three months. I will attach the current contract to this email, but now is the time to consider whether to try and renew their contract or find a replacement. Please see the link to the profile of Elborn below. Now I wonder if I need to do this now or not. Because if I go... Talk to Ocon. Will he come to my team instantly? I think the answer is yes. So we should do this after the race, right? I mean, I can do it now, but it's costing more. The longer I, I wait, the better. And it costs less money. So we are going to wait and we are going to take... The, maybe we can get Alonso. Maybe his, his, his uh, contract will stop at the end of this season. You know? But we don't have to do it now because we cannot uh, make contracts for the next year. You get them for instantly. Okay, Boucher 73, congratulations. And PS3, you need more smoothness. And I think we can continue. Nothing is going to happen apparently. We are still working on everything. Two center is refurbished and we are going to the Japanese Grand Prix. Oh, nice. It's a very nice circuit. Suzuka. I think we are ready. We have 18 million. I think I'm going to keep that for the upcoming season. Or should I build something? I mean, we need to get these things built. This one is 10 million. And we get m more testing results. That is actually pretty interesting. The wind tunnel gives us ATR uh, and the CFD is... To simulate the airflow. We should really upgrade these things, I think that is very important. Is it just giving cooling? Then we just need the wind tunnel and the CFD simulator to be upgraded. I think that is pretty important. Uh, you know what, let's start one of them. Let's start with the wind tunnel. We will have enough money, I think. Otherwise, we have a problem. Uh, can we do something here? No. No. And no. The drivers are done. Car builds. We are going to use this one. So we don't have any good engines, so I think that Piastri is going to go to the back of the grid in this race. Uh, we will use this one for the practice and we will get a new engine. 
for the race. We are going to use this one for the practice and we use our new engine for the race. Now ERS, we don't have that many good things anymore. You do, because we gave you all your penalties last time. For the gearbox, we're going to use this one. And car 2 is going to use this one. This one for the qualifying and the race. Alright. I think everything is done. So we will go to the Japanese Grand Prix in the next episode, guys. What is this? And three months. I know, but I'm not going to renew his contract. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I see you in the next video for the Japanese Grand Prix. Bye-bye.